up you guys it's your girl miss Corey, and i'm back with another video i know it's been a good minute since i've made a video but i'm gonna do better i'm gonna do better but this video today is basically about me getting pregnant how i found out i was pregnant um when i found out i was pregnant how my first trimester went and how my second trimester is going right now everything is going pretty good right now but Let's start from the beginning. Let's get into this video. So, so one day, like, I was at work and I was at the child childcare facility and I was just kept feeling sick, like, and I started throwing up. Like, I was just throwing up, like, the whole time. Like, I messaged my boss. I said, I'm gonna need somebody with, like, that's on call. As soon as I call, like, I need to go to the bathroom and go throw up. So long story short, I ended up leaving and I was like, huh, hmm. my boss talked to me. She was like, you don't think you're pregnant? I said, I don't know. Like, I hope not, but I don't know. So I went home and my coworker came with me, Neat. She came and she got brought me a pregnancy test and I took it. Never forget it. November 3rd, 2021, around seven-ish. And two lines came on that bitch. And I was like, wow, I really am pregnant. Like, at first I was nervous, you know, I didn't know how to react. But my partner, like, he really made me feel better about it. And it was good. Um, it was real good. So I found out I was pregnant around, like, eight weeks. And I went to my first appointment when I was, like, ten weeks. So I went... And, you know everything was good but once I hit like the like the um yeah like the 11 week mark I couldn't eat anything like I wasn't eating anything at all like all day everything smelled bad everything tasted bad no appetite like anything I put on my tongue I just had no appetite for it was not trying to eat nothing <laughs> at all so and I was feeling really nauseous like, I didn't really have like but well, they say morning sickness is like the nausea that's, you know, so far, like, any, sorry, my head's itching. They can claim anything as like, you know, morning sickness, but I wasn't like throwing up anymore. Like that was the only time that I threw up. And then um, I was just nauseous all day. Like I was just feeling sick, like all day, all day, every day. Couldn't eat, couldn't eat, couldn't do nothing, absolutely nothing. But it wasn't around till like, I hit like 16 weeks. And once I hit 16 weeks, that's when I was able to start, like, eating again. Like, and it was really good. Like, I was able to eat again. I kept eating, um, what was I eating? Broccoli, strawberries. That's all I ate all day. Broccoli and strawberries. That's it. That's it. So, y'all know it does a lot of, whew, a lot of, <laughs> back there and stuff but it was good but that was the only thing I was eating I wasn't eating too bad like I might eat a sandwich here and there like peanut butter jelly but that's so far I could only eat like vegetables and fruits um and that was going on I got like most I was able to start like eating and eating in like now I'm 19 weeks and I'm eating uncontrollably now but I didn't wasn't able to start eating like a whole lot until about yeah, that 16, 17 weeks. But once I hit 18 weeks, that's when I was able to like eat, 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 eat. Um, all my exams were good. The baby's the baby is doing really good. Um, growing fantastically. Um, legs, organs, all those things are developing very really well. So my baby is coming along great. I've only had three appointments and I just started seeing have started my appointments with my OB when I hit 18 weeks so that's not that long apparently I was supposed to have my um, new OB appointment when I was 12 weeks but they say they set up that appointment but they really didn't like if they did I would have been there but they didn't set that up so after I was with like um what is it fetal fetal and something some department I was getting my ultrasound they were like okay you don't need to see us anymore you need to go to your OB get like a physical 
and do all that and I was due for a pap so I hadn't had a pap in like probably like a year so I had to get a pap which was very uncomfortable because this is really uncomfortable down there right now really uncomfortable down there but it's it's all right though um I hope it gets better but from everything that I've been reading and things that people have been telling me that's just how it is right now well my second trimester is a breeze like a, a breeze like I'm not sick the only thing is I am out of breath just like I'm talking now, I am out of breath. Like, I cannot. Just walking from this, this bookcase to the bathroom, which is right there. I feel like I ran a marathon. Like, it is so crazy. And just getting up off the couch, like, it's awful. Oh, but also, though, around, like, 16 weeks, I started getting these cramps on the side of me as well and I only had one instance where it was like really bad like the cramps were so bad I had to get in the shower and get in the tub and just sit there and just relax my muscles I don't know what that's called but apparently it's normal from the stretching and your body getting you know in a way to <laughs> make room for the baby so that's only like pain that I had like really the only pain that I had um but other than that like week 16 17 breezes breezes but that <laughs> 10 to 16 weeks oh I can't eat nothing even now like I don't want to eat any chicken no chicken none of that uh -uh. I can't eat that right now I just it's not working for my tongue my stomach Little baby in here does not like chicken right now. But I have been going to Cold Stone <laughs> very often. I went to Cold Stone like twice last week in one day within about three hours apart. It's a problem right now with the Cold Stone. It really is. And chips and salsa. Um, but once I hit, but again, like my second trimester is going phenomenal like it is phenomenal I am really enjoying this part of my pregnancy this is the time they say that you are enjoying it the most but my OB told me that I need to not you know expect this for the whole rest of my pregnancy like I better enjoy it now because it's not gonna last and I was like dang like I'm just enjoying this like I'm just I'm really enjoying this right now let me you know have this little moment um Oh, once I hit 18 weeks though, that's when I start feeling the baby kicking me and feeling the baby move. And my baby only really wants to move like when their daddy is talking to them, which makes me really mad because it's like, I'm carrying you, okay? And I'm the one that gotta be doing all this stuff with you. And you're only trying to move and stuff when your daddy is talking to you. But my partner, he is so great. Like he has been, you know, reading the baby's stories and every time he reads the baby a story like baby she starts moving or he, when he starts talking to the baby like it's awesome it's a really cool feeling like and it's really hard to explain like you really can't explain it other than the flutters and like a quick like muscle spasm that's what it feels like it's like a doop, doop. and that's how it feels when my baby kicks me it's a little uncomfortable it gave me anxiety at first when I first started feeling it because it's just like wow like there is a little person growing inside of there. Like there is really a person growing inside of there. And I really still can't believe that I'm going to be a mom in like five months. But I'm excited and my partner is excited. And it's amazing. So everything's going good. Um, Right now I am 19 weeks and I am feeling extreme pressure down on my bladder. The baby, sits down there the most like is down there all day moving I go to the bathroom I counted today I went to the bathroom at least eight times in one hour when I took y'all excuse me I got hiccups when I tell y'all I am so tired of going to the bathroom I am so tired of going to the bathroom. And then when I go to the bathroom, it's only like a little twink twink. It's only a little twinkle twinkle. But I've been feeling like it's a waterfall. <laughs> and, but it's okay, but it's okay. Cause 
it's my baby like my baby is growing and it's okay you know but um but also like I know I saw some videos and some people like they were able to see like their baby kicking and things like that apparently I don't know what it's called I know, I'm not really good with these technical terms but I just want to talk about how my pregnancy is going so far <laughs> but um my last you know my appointment before this one when I got the anatomy scan which I got that at 18 weeks um my placenta is like at the top so it's like laying on top of my baby so like it's like a pillow like I'm covering my baby so it's hard for me to like really fit at first it was really hard to like feel the kids or like see the baby like I see a lot of videos people are like seeing their baby kick and stuff but you know now I'm seeing like a little, the little jerk movements and things now that I'm about to be 20 weeks but um yeah so I wasn't seeing that at first um I wasn't feeling the baby as much until I was like 18 weeks um I also found out the gender of my baby and that video is actually going to be up before this video because we're doing our general reveal this Saturday for our friends and family. And we did a video because of COVID. I ain't trying to be around a whole bunch of people. But yeah, my pregnancy so far is going really well. But yeah, if you want to check out that general reveal video, go check it out. Go check it out. I'll probably put the link of that general reveal video right here. It's really nice. We went to Nags Head. I'm from North Carolina, so we went to Nags Head to the Outer Banks because that's like our favorite place to go whenever we are um, down on the coast because my partner is literally, he's from a town that is like, like an hour away from there, so we go there a lot and that's, we just want to make it special for our friends and family to go somewhere that we love to go. But yeah, my pregnancy is going by really smoothly. I feel good. I'm looking good. My baby is making me be so much more confident. Um, my motivation for things has grown so much. And I think that's just because I'm in this, I'm in the mode now where I'm preparing to take care of another person other than myself. And I'm really excited for this experience. I'm glad that I was able to make this video for you guys to see. It probably didn't do much, <laughs> but I just want to get out and tell you guys about my pregnancy because I love it so far. I love my pregnancy so far. It's amazing. It's amazing to see how much me and my partner have grown together, have grown up. It's just an amazing experience that I am taking everything in. But thank you for watching this video. I will have another update on probably like my third trimester, going into my third trimester. I may do one for um, my 20 week, but that's next week, so I don't know. If anything drastic happens that changes, then I will. But other than that, pregnancy is good. Back is hurting, but it's okay. Look at it stretching, but it's okay. Boobies getting bigger, that's okay. <laughs> It's going to be an amazing experience. I'm so ec excited for this baby to get here. But thank you guys for watching Miss Cory TV. I'm done with this video and I'm out. Bye. Blooper. I know I said I was done, but I didn't even show you guys my belly. I'm not going to stand up because it just takes a lot of energy to stand up. But this is my belly. I feel like I'm not really like too, too big yet, but... I'm enough. Like, this is the front of my belly. On the side. I feel like my belly just looks like. It just looks weird in my opinion, but. But now, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.